Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I got a new mic, guys. Does it sound better? I hope it does, because I hear you guys, and yeah, I'm sorry about like screaming into the thing, but I finally got, I'm, I'm finally official, okay? So people can hear me, hopefully. Hopefully, if I know what I'm doing. All right? So today, we're going to be comparing the Yonex V-Core line with the Babolat Pure Arrow Banana Line, all right? Originally, I was gonna just do the, the V-Core line from Yonex, but I thought it'd be more interesting if I go over that line and compare it to the line that they're trying to go after, and that's the Pure Arrow line, Banana to you. I know you guys love and hate the banana, okay? I get that, I love your passion, all right? Hang tight, okay, let's start with the 100, V-Core 100, this puppy right here. So this comes in actually a red, like looking like this, and a black, okay? The first ones that came out were red, then it came out in black. Am I red or am I black? Am I red or am I black? Well, they tell me that the red sells better than the black. Go figure. But I'm gonna go over just 100 today and it, if you want the red, you can definitely get that red. The technology in this racket is that it's aerodynamic. So they dug a trench. They went digging. They went digging. They went digging. They dug deep enough where they could tuck the strings in so it sinks in. So there's no wind drag from the strings. So when the head comes through, all it does, all the air does is go into the frame and right, go past zero wind drag from string for aerodynamic, pure arrow. Okay, pure arrow cuts through the air quick. That's what they dug the trench for to make it go through fast. Okay, there's also some type of fin in here uh, that you know that makes it aerodynamic also. So it's like, a, it's like a, what do you call it? I call it a skin, they call it a fin, but it goes through the air. It cuts through the air quickly. So it plays like an arrow. 100 square inches is what they both are. 27 inches long, what they both are. All right, what else is the same? The balance is the same. They're both four points headlight. 330 millimeters. The weight, both at 11.2 ounces, which is 318 grams. So the swing weight's a little different. Um, this one's at 320 on the swing weight. This one's 324. 69 on the stiffness scale. 67 on the stiffness scale. Just a little stiffer in this one. Surprisingly, surprisingly. Usually Yonexes aren't that way. Um, so the beam, 24, 25, 22. So it tapers down to give you that yawn X feel and probably the help with the aerodynamics. The standard 100, 23, 26, 23. Really, really similar. Really, really similar. When I hit with this racket, I was surprised at how similar it felt to this. It may have even gone through the air faster. Um, I, I was late on a backhand. I have a one-handed backhand. And the ball was already coming through the net. And I was standing like this, like a dummy. And I was like, uh-oh, I'm screwed, right? So all I did was just rear back and just let it rip. And I actually caught up to the ball. I, I couldn't believe it. Um, it. It was shocking how fast this thing went through the air. So... But yeah, um, if you like this, try this. You know, it, it's it's right there, and you get that Yonex feel too, uh, in the throat. All right, that's the hundred. All right. So since Yonex copied Babolat on that hundred, well, it's it's uh, Babolat's turn to copy Yonex on the ninety-eight. So. Uh, the, the V-Core 98 right here clocks in at 11.4 ounces. 11.3 ounces. 
323 grams versus 320 grams. The balance is both six points head light at 325. The swing weight's a little off, but not much. 322 for this, 321 for that. Um, the RA stiffness, this is a little softer. You would expect that from a Yonex. Just a little firmer, 67, 65, right? So this time it was Babylot's turn to copy Yonex on a 98, right? So these are very, very similar too. The beam, the beam on this one is a 22, 22, 21. So that's, you know, what you would expect for a 98 kind of flexible semi-player's racket, player's racket. Uh, the Pure Drive VS 98, 21, 23, 22, right? So similar, very similar, okay? Obviously, the arrow design here, but you got the trenching design here. So, you know, arrow or trench. You can dig a trench and go faster, or you're going to go with a triangle throat. Either way, it's for arrow. Okay. Four is 1-1 one, one now. All right. So, Babylot copied Yonex once. Yonex copied Babylot once. So, we go into the third racket into the line, and that's the... Yonex V-Core 100 light, 100 light. Now, this only comes in red, only red, no black in this one, okay? So how does it compare? Well, it compares similarly to the Babolat Pure Arrow team. Now, I don't know who copied who on this one because I believe they both had rackets that were similar to this out and have been for a little while now in previous lines. So um, characteristics of this 100 light is that it's 10.5 strung, which is 298. Um, one points head light, 340 on that balance, uh, 308 on the swing weight and 67 on the RA. Whereas the team is 10.6, 301, right? This is 10.5, 298. Four points head light, it's one points head light. So 330 on the balance board, uh, 307 versus 308, 69. So this is a little stiffer, 67. So those numbers are very, very similar. The only thing was that the balance was a little different. That's all. Uh, both definitely meant for a uh, female maybe, or somebody who needs a slightly lighter racket than the 100. Okay, I know you guys hate it when I say that, but you know, I think, and when I say stuff like that, I mean that in terms of like 80 20, you know, 80% of what I say is probably a woman's gonna buy these rackets, right? And there's always gonna be that 20% of whoever likes it. So, you know, the 80 20 rule. Okay, so back to the racket 100 light is 24, 25, and 22. So, Signature Yonex always goes thin here for the bend and the flex, right? That's where you get that feel from. Babolat, 23, 26, 23. So a little firmer on this. So it's a little thicker here and then a little thicker than this towards the bottom, okay? So they're very, very similar rackets. I'll bet you they feel the same or very similar. So if you're after like, this type of racket um, in a Yonex, try that one. V-Core 100 Light. It'll, it's also named V-Core 100 Light. If you're looking for this particular racket, it's got a white grip on it, okay? So that means it's a light, okay? But there is something else that's a white grip, so be very, very careful um, in this line, I believe. So make sure it's the 280 gram version. It'll say uh, V-Core light and then 280, or sometimes this says V-Core 280. Look for the white grip and then make sure it's the 280 version, just to make sure you don't get the even lighter version, okay? The score is one, one, tie, okay? So this actually isn't gonna be a tiebreaker because 
Babolat doesn't make a racket like this. Um, so this is suited. Let me tell you what it is first. This is a V-Core 98 Lite, okay? Uh, yes, 98 Lite. So this is suited for that player who's definitely on the intermediate side um, that wants a lighter, smaller headed racket, okay? So this actually clocks in at 10.8 ounces, which is 306 grams. It's three points head light, which measures out to 335 millimeters. Swing weight is 313, okay? So it's a little heavier than the 100 light. And then the stiffness drops back to the 60, to 65, which is the 98 stiffness, okay? So it's the light version of the 98, the 98, this 98, all right? So for that intermediate woman, intermediate junior, intermediate man, you know, intermediate that wants a smaller head and a little more control, this is your racket, okay? So it's thin just like this one in terms of the beam. Again, they're both 22, 22, and 21 at the bottom. So I, I actually take that back. Now that I think about it a little bit, The there was a Babolat racket that was similar to this, um, and that was the Pure Arrow VS, the standard VS, not the new VS, not this one, but the older VS that clocks in at 10.4 without strings. It was that VS. It had only the fluorescent yellow, um, only the fluorescent yellow, not the banana. So guys, that racket just got discontinued. So uh, if you like that racket, go buy it, okay? But this is supposed to be... Uh, I guess similar to that. It's a, it starts off a little lighter though, but um, great playing racket, more control. I don't really sell many of these because I don't really have that customer, okay? But if you want a 98, right, light, look for the white grip again, okay? So this thing clocks in at 285. It'll be called... Yonex V Core 98 Lite, and it'll say 285 grams uh, after that. Okay, so check that out if you're in into a smaller headed uh, V Core. Okay, so in conclusion, I think both of these uh, lines are extremely close, extremely close. Can you play with this racket, the 100, if you play with the Pure Arrow? Definitely. It's right there, okay? If you play with the V-Core 98, can you play with the Pure Arrow VS? Yeah, sure, right? I mean, if you play with this, the Pure Drive Team, could you play with this 100 light? Yeah. I mean, I I would say, unless you're a big fan of Babolat, you know, try these Yonexes. They're actually very, very well made. Okay? And hey, they're digging trenches for you so you can get more aerodynamics in your racket. So hey, might as well try it. They're working hard for you. All right? And for this one, right? I don't know. If this sounds like your type of racket, definitely give it a shot, okay? All right, so any questions, ask. Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.